Hello and welcome to the TensorFlow tutorial series using Python and uh, today we will be learning something about TensorFlow and tensors. So TensorFlow was basically uh, it was developed by Google and they later on open sourced it so anybody now can use it for free. So TensorFlow is uh, mostly used in uh, neural networks and deep learning applications. So before we install TensorFlow and start coding uh, on TensorFlow. Uh, let's try to understand what exactly a tensor is because many people have doubts about what a ten what exactly does a tensor mean so according to the mm, website of, uh, or according to the uh, guide from the tensor flow what we can read is a tensor is a generalization of vectors and matrices to potentially higher dimensions so i'll re i'll read it once again a uh, tensor is a generalization of vectors and matrices to potentially higher dimensions. Uh, I, I think you did not understand this properly. So I have a, I have an example which will help you understand it in a much better fashion. So let's take a look at it. In order to understand uh, understand in a better fashion what exactly a tensor means. I have a, I have a few examples here. Uh, let's take an example. Let's take an array first. What you can see right here is an array. This uh, of array of length a. Uh, you can call it as an array or a vector. This is a one-dimensional array. So since this is a one-dimensional array, we call it a one-D tensor. So now let's take another example. This is a this is a matrix of a shape a into b. A and B so it is a two-dimensional array you can even call it as a two-dimensional array so it is a two-dimensional array so we call it a 2d tensor now let's take another example this is a cube uh, this uh, this has three dimensions a B and C so this is a 3d array so we can call it a 3d tensor uh, let's take another example this is an array of cubes uh, it, it is a four dimensional array the three dimensions of a cube and one dimension of this array or a vector uh, so in total it is a four dimensional array of uh, shape a into b into c into d so we call it a 4d tensor uh, let's take one more example this is a matrix of cubes so as you can you, you can identify that it, it is a 5d array the so three dimensions of one single cube and two dimensions of a matrix so it is a 5d array and you can call it a 5d tensor now this is a one more example this is a six dimension this is a cube of cubes so it is a six dimension a 6d array of shape a a by b by c by d by e by f the three dimensions of a single cube and the three dimensions of this larger cube which is a cube of cubes so we can call it a 60 tensor so are you getting the relation uh, basically uh, instead of calling it as uh, 1d array 2d array a matrix or a cube or a vector uh, tensor flow usually uh, addresses or uh, identifies a particular array as a tensor so you can uh, uh, relate to tensor as as an n dimensional array as you can see this is a 60 array so we call it as 6d tensor yeah we this is a 5d array so we call it as 5d tensor yeah it is a, this one is a 4d array so we call it as a 4d tensor so basically tensors are n dimensional arrays instead of calling them array we call them as tensors so i i hope you understood what exactly tensor is tensor is basically an array instead of calling it an array we call it as a tensor so we call it as an nd tensor and where n indicates the shape uh, the shape or the yeah this is the shape or the size of the array and uh, what is a tensor flow tensor is i i told you what a tensor is so what is a tens what is tensor flow a tensor flow is basically interaction between various tensors in a particular flow so that is called as a tensor flow where 
various uh, tensors like uh, 2D tensors, 3D tensors, various tensors of uh, various shapes and sizes interact with each other in a particular flow to give us a particular output. For example, in neural networks, uh, the tensors flow from the input layer to the hidden layer to the output layer. This is a particular flow of tensor. So usually, usually we call it as tensor flow. So this, that is how the name was derived. So I hope you uh, understood what exactly the tensors are and what tensor flow is. In the upcoming videos, uh, we will uh, install tensor flow and learn many other concepts about tensor flow. So I hope you like the video. So uh, please uh, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.